Oh yeah, decimals into mixed numbers, and then they ask you for it in the lowest terms. You might see a problem that sounds something like this. What is the denominator of each of these decimal numbers when they are written as lowest term fractions or mixed numbers? Whoo, that's a mouthful. So what they want us to do here is rewrite this as a mixed number or a fraction. Well, the number 3 means the whole number 3, and you need to show your work out here. 3, don't show your work on the line. That's only for answers. All your problems, the blank is for your answers only. And this 85 means 85 hundredths, right? So you're going to write that as 85 hundredths. Then you're going to simplify or reduce the fraction 85 hundredths to its lowest terms. So we know we're going to have a 3. That's not going to change. What can I divide both 85 and 100 by? Well, it's just we know that those are multiples of 5. So let's try dividing by 5. 5 goes into 8 one time. That's a remainder of 3. Notice how I'm kind of showing my work on here. 5 goes into 35 seven times. And 100 divided by 5, of course, is 20. Now, is there any way to divide 17 and 20 by the same number? No, probably not. Okay, 17 is a prime number, so the only thing you can divide 17 by is 17. That's going to simplify it. And 20 cannot be divided by uh, 17. So the number I write in the line here is the 20 because they're asking for the denominator of the simplified fraction. This next one is 48 hundredths. All right, what, how can we simplify that one? Well, I know they're both even numbers, so let's go ahead and chop them down in half just to get started. Make the numbers a little bit smaller. 24 and 50. Wow, oh, those are both still even numbers, aren't they? So I know I can divide. I should show that on here. Divide by 2. Divide by 2. So I can divide it by 2 again. And I get 12 25ths. Okay, is there anything I can divide both 12 and 25 by? Probably not. I can only divide 25 by 5, pretty much, to simplify that. I know I can't divide 12 by 5, so this is simplified as low as it can go. And so my denominator in that fraction is 25. These two numbers go in your check answer. Thanks for watching.